Welcome to my channel Sara Cooks for You. Today we are going to make a very delicious recipe that's goat paya. It's also known as goat trotters or mutton trotters. This is the easiest and the most simplest recipe to make and it's really very delicious. For this I've used about 3 medium sized onions, quarter cup of mint leaves, green chilies about 10 to 12 depending on your taste, coriander leaves chopped about 1 cup, pepper powder 1 teaspoon, chili powder about 1 and a half teaspoon, turmeric half a teaspoon, salt to taste and garam masala powder. This is whole garam masala that's cinnamon, elaichi or cardamom and cloves. Oil I've used about half a cup and ginger garlic paste about 4 teaspoons and the trotters I've used about 1 dozen. They are 1 dozen trotters which I've cut them into pieces. These are roasted ones. The, uh, these are uh, uh, the trotters are generally white in color. These are roasted on in the fire to give this so that uh, this adds a lot of taste to the paya. And this is ground coconut which I have used about half cup. To start this recipe, I am going to first add oil to the pressure cooker. And um, the, the oil is about quarter cup. I have not added much because uh, the paya will also give out a lot of fat. To this I am adding the sliced onions. There are two ways to make this. You can either pressure cook them or you can also uh, cook them in a pot. And another method of cooking this is instead of frying the onion, you can directly add whatever masalas I showed you. You can add everything to it except the coconut and garam masala and you can pressure cook it all at once. But this method adds more taste and flavor when I am frying the onion and I have also added the chilies, the coriander leaves and the mint leaves to this. If you are in a hurry or you want a really simple method, you can try that also. I am adding in the ginger garlic paste. This is fresh ginger garlic paste. This adds more taste and flavor to the to any dish. I don't buy the ready made bottles. Grinding it at home adds and makes the dishes more flavorful. The ginger garlic paste is fried well. Except for the garam masala powder, I am adding all the other masalas to this. The chilies please add according to your taste. I will just fry the masalas for a, a minute. Don't let them burn. And we'll add the washed paya to this. If you're pressure cooking this, this takes about 45 minutes to 1 hour depending on the paya. Now just mix them together so that the masala coats the paya. And now we'll add water. Just add sufficient amount of water so that um, the paya get covered. And don't add too much because uh, when if you're cooking it in the pressure cooker, then the it'll come out. The water will come out when the pressure cooker whistles. So I'm cooking it in a pot today. So I've transferred to a bigger pot. And I've added more water to it. When you cook it in an open pot or a covered pot, it takes about um, two hours for the paya to get done. Two to two and a half hours. Like I said, depends on the paya. So you can just check in between to see for, uh, if it's done and also add in more water if it is required. 
after it's cooked for about one and a half hours i have added the coconut ground coconut and the garam masala powder also i'll be adding it now but if you are pressure cooking it you can pressure cook it and after it's done open the cooker then add in the coconut and garam masala and uh, just cook it for another 10 to 15 minutes and you can serve it adding the garam masala in the end it um, retains the flavor so that's why we add it in the end Like I said, the garam masala is the whole garam masala, cinnamon, cardamom and cloves powder, not the normal other garam masala. It's as simple as this. The paya is ready. It's really delicious and so simple to make it at home. And you can serve this with parathas or rotis and, and it even tastes great with dosas or idiapams. I'm sure you like this easy recipe.